Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I pray as you go away from the service that you will have lots to think and pray about this week. Don't forget, you can join us on the Zoom chat at 12 o'clock by scrolling down your screen and clicking on the link. And today, perhaps I should have mentioned this in my beginning clip, I've got a little game that I'd like to play and it's spot the difference. So you might want to go back to the beginning and look at my opening scene and then come back to this one and see if you can spot the difference. And then we can have a chat about that on Zoom later on. Last week, Jane mentioned a book by Francis Chan, Until Unity. So I decided to start reading it and I'm only on page 28. But I've already received so many little nuggets from him. And there's one little paragraph that I'd like to share with you because it really encouraged me, but also challenged me. It's great that you share the gospel with those you love, but it's our unity that will cause them to actually believe your words. Most of us would say that we would do anything to see our loved ones know Jesus. Are you willing to make a serious effort toward unity? How much humbling, repentance and suffering are you willing to endure to see the church unified? Big questions. So I just leave those with you. Let's pray a blessing as we finish this service. Oh dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for your church. Thank you that you've made us all part of your church. And Father, I pray that we recognise you as the biggest forgiver of all time. And you want to walk with us and help us to be able to forgive others, but also sometimes to forgive ourselves. And so Father, as we go into this coming week, I pray that you will be with us all and help us to realise that the world is watching and that they will see you by the way that we love each other. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you next time.